So hey guys, here is my newest ride. So what you're looking at here is a Willier Trestina, the 503 Plus. So it's my second 29 plus mountain bike. Whoops, I got some bicycle wheels behind me here. So I jumped on the plus bike bandwagon early, like right away, uh, probably within a year of the Surly Krampus coming out. I ended up buying a Surly Krampus. And at the time I was on a fully rigid kick. So I had my fully rigid Krampus, I had my fully rigid Moonlander, and I was just avoiding any potential maintenance nightmares with uh, suspension. Um, but I'm advancing in age and our main trail system is extremely rooty and just getting more and more bumpy as it ages. So I found with the two rigid bikes that I had, I was basically going off-road less and less. Even on my Moonlander, which I had uh, basically five inch tires on, it wasn't absolutely horrible to ride in there with it, but uh, there were sections of routes where I really wasn't enjoying myself. So I bit the bullet and I got this Willier. Um, and yeah, why would I buy a Willier? Well, let's just say it's the middle of summer here, the Canadian bike market. Most of the bikes I looked at were already sold out for the year. So uh, we were looking, digging deeper for options that they, my bike shop could get me. And then they pulled out the Willier catalog and uh, we looked at this thing and I was like, wow, that's a freaking nice bike. Order it up. So they ordered it from the Canadian distributor. They didn't have any in Canada. This might actually be the only Willier 503 Plus in Canada at the moment. Um, it's a pretty nice bike. So I traded in my Krampus. So this is my only 29 plus bike now. I've traded in my Krampus. They gave me a, a decent amount of cash for it considering I had put over 10,000 kilometers on it. So it paid for almost 40% of this bike. So that was good. And uh, I've had it now for a week. I have put I think close to 10 hours on it and uh, I'm really, really liking it. So the one thing with the Krampus is it was a little bit old school in terms of the geometry and riding position. This is a much more modern design. So a modern trail geometry, with a longer top tube, short stubby stem, relaxed angles. Um, and of course full suspension. So this uses a 29 plus specific Magnum comp. Uh, they're 34 millimeter stanchions, so they're really, really beefy. It's a uh, hundred mil. Um, so it's not got tons of travel, but they went with a hundred mil because you do have the extra cush of uh, three inch tires. So this is a uh, hydroformed aluminum. I don't know if you could tell from the video, but all the tubing here is really, really shaped um, as opposed to being totally round. Uh, and then it is a 1x11 setup and reasonably nicely spec. The nice thing I like about it is almost everything is brand name. So it uses ceram cranks instead of some generic crank. Uh, and it is an actual 11 speed with the XD driver. So it's a 10 tooth, the 1042, and then SRAM GX uh, rear derailleur, SRAM GX shifter. And then the hubs are actually SRAM hubs front and rear. Uh, and then their boost spacing, um, their Shimano brakes, I think they're like the 355, so they're not a particularly high-end brake. But the other thing is my Moonlander and my Krampus both had cable actuated brakes, so it's nice to go back to, to disc brakes and having uh, that beautiful stopping power that they give you and feel. Um, and then the cockpit wise, it's Pro, Pro Max. So it's a really nice aluminum bar stem combo, you know, for being, original equipment it, it actually looks like aftermarket brand name stuff the seat post is pro max as well which is nice uh rim wise it's got the the sun ringley mule uh rims so they are 50 millimeter wide as opposed to something narrower that you're seeing on a lot of bikes now where they're going with 30 35 40 mil tires this does stick with the uh 50 mil setup on it um yeah, up, up front it has a 30 tooth. On the website they had it actually listed as a 32, which I kind of thought was big, but when the bike finally did come in, it, it's only a 30. And if you actually look at the uh, at the, uh, room here, there really isn't, I don't even think there's room here to go to a 32 on a sing, single tooth. Uh, maybe if you run it as a double and you space out the crank, or if you run a bigger chain ring, you might have to uh, 
move space it out a little bit more so the trail system that we that i bought it for like i said is really really rooty but it also has lots of short steep climbs and uh yeah that's great if you're feeling strong that day but like this weekend uh i did like two ri two rides on saturday two rides on sunday so you know that first ride i did each of those days kind of made me tired and then i went mountain biking uh for that second ride and i'm not always feeling you're not feeling that, that strong so having to grunt your way up uh short street climbs feeling slightly over geared isn't isn't a lot of fun so you know with 29 plus uh if you're strictly for off-road applications i think a 28 tooth is uh, a better choice um, but then the other option is you can get 46 tooth on the back and what with uh ceram eagle even up to a 50 so that'll pretty neg pretty much negate the the size of the 30 tooth um, if there are cheaper 12 speed options in the next year or two, I might up upgrade this bike to that. The nice thing about the 30 tooth is it does make the bike a little more versatile if you're going to use it as a gravel grinder. Um, so you won't be spun out quite, quite as easily. Tire wise, they're Maxxis Chronicles. Um, so they're somewhat similar to Surly Nards. Like it's, it's a lower rolling resistance design, but they are, I'd say they are a better off-road tire because they do have much much better uh, side knobbing on them. Um, I did crash once on it uh, this week so far, and that was because you know I just kept leaning, 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 and I, f I eventually I found the, the limit of the uh, lean angle on these things, and the front tire washed out, and I went down. Uh, it was fairly slow speed. I didn't didn't hurt myself, but they are a better off-road tire than the Surly Nards, and they are reasonably fast. Yeah, and then the colorway on this like. It's definitely got some Italian flash. Um, I'm not sure how well this uh, neon green will age, but actually I think it looks pretty cool. They got a cool logo. Strangely, this reminds me of some logo that they use in Quebec. I'm not exactly sure what that trident is about. Um, if you're not familiar with Willier, Tristina, they're not a new company. Uh, you see 1906 on the uh, seat tube there. So they've been in business for over a hundred years, but they're mainly a road bike company. I mean, their bicycles have won stages in the Tour de France and the Tour of Italy, and over that hundred years, I'm sure they've won the Tour de France and won the, the Tour of Italy, you know, the two biggest bike races in the world. Yeah, so the Manitou Magnum Fork, uh, nice thing. It does have a full lockout on it, which uh, is very, very handy. I use it uh, quite a bit. Off-road at Shunya Mines, occasionally I use it, but if I'm out on, I did some road rides with some gravel, um, and I was using it quite a bit where I was turning it on and off, especially getting out of the saddle and climbing. Um, well, the other thing I'll say, this is my first bike with really, really wide handlebars. Um, first they feel extremely foreign, uh, but, um, I'm liking it now so far. Uh, I'm really liking how this thing climbs out of the saddle, especially with the wide bars. You pull really well, really short chain stays and, uh, very, very responsive climbing bike probably because it's also stiffer than than the Krampus so as a comparison between this and the Krampus I'd say the Krampus is really designed to be a more versatile bicycle um, like the riding position on this is very very upright so the road riding that I was doing the gravel road riding that I was doing you know I want it to be lower the faster I was going I want it to be lower and you can't really get in that lower position on this bike uh, whereas the Krampus had a much more forward riding position um, a couple other things maybe one other thing uh, this is a size small and my Krampus basically only had one bottle cage this does have two bottle cages but I can actually I can fit a full size large bottle here but here I can actually only fit a small bottle so I can't fit two bottles but it's still an upgrade over uh, the Krampus that I can actually carry two bottles so a big bottle and a small bottle you know I might be able to get four hours of riding out of that so that's that's a bit of an upgrade and through axle front and rear the front has some kind of new fend angled manitou zone design uh they were showing me at the shop how how you use it i haven't taken the front wheel off but it takes actually a little bit of fiddling uh to take it out supposedly it's actually supposed to be faster because it, it works kind of like a quick release you open it you twist it and then it just pull, pulls out instead of having to thread thread it in so yeah, just an introduction video of my new 29 plus Willier Tristina 503 plus.
Thanks for watching. Bye.